Hey, you guys, it's your girl Kia VL up in the building, all up on your screen. And today, you see the title, baby. You know how I love to reach back and talk about the old retired fragrances from Bath and Body Works. So, we are going to chit chat about them today. Y'all already know how this go. I talk to y'all about them, tell y'all the notes, say if they should come back or not. And y'all tell me in the comment section if you have them and which ones I should really decide to pay that retail or not retail, but resale price for on ebay okay y'all let me know the good details and the bad details okay listen help me to help me to help me save my coin <laughs> all right so let us talk about the very first item so the very first fragrance is the apple blossom in a lavender collection this is what it looks like now this was a collection um that was with the what is it, the pomegranate and the lemon one and it was another one that they had that was available with it um but this one is apple blossom and lavender they say that this is a a, ru a rumic artemis child listen i can't even speak can't even speak listen aroma therapy <laughs> type fruity fragrance <laughs> aromatic is what i put but i don't know if that's the right word but listen bear with me so i ended up picking that up the notes in this are green apple passion fruit clementine and apricot i know y'all be like girl if you don't just start editing why listen y'all gonna see these mistakes i'm human <laughs> bear with me okay so i really would like to smell this one it seems like it's very fruity but it kind of might have a little freshness to it with the um a lavender in it so let me know sis do you have this do you not have this let me know so the next one is Wicked Vanilla Woods. Now, I don't like the name of this per se, but it was one of those, I want to say the holiday scents that came out, the little special ones. Um, and this came out in 2021. It says, like, what does smell like? It says, walking through a haunted forest on a sweet and spooky night. My goodness, do I really want it in the house? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but the notes in this are magical vanilla, glowing amber, and enchanted pink pepper now let me know has this already come out with a different title let me know because you know bath and body works like the play sometimes they'd be like oh this is something new and it really be a repackaging of something else so let me know the packaging is so like enchantedly mystic to me but yeah that one <laughs> if you have it let me know so the next one i really want to smell i think that the packaging on this collection was really really nice and this one is the kiss pink jasmine and blackberry i don't know why but this sounds like it smells amazing okay so what it smell like it says discover magic under the mistletoe with a luscious blend of pink jasmine and blackberry so apparently this was one of those christmas collections that came out a while back okay like a long long time back i want to say probably like 2015 back these are where I was starting to find pictures off of their Facebook page. And I was like, wow, y'all really had a bunch of stuff that you can pull out. You don't have to make that new. Just go back in the vault, sis. Just pull it out from the back. So I would like to smell this. The notes in this are pink jasmine, luscious blackberry, sparkling bergamot, honey blossoms, and a warm amber. So that is what this one is. And I would absolutely love to smell this one. So the next one is a part of the Paris collection that they had at one point. It is the Bonjour Paris. And this one actually came out in 2017, you guys. This thing is old, old. Old, 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 old. If you still have this in 2000, from 2017 and it's 2023, let me know if you got some smell, sis. Let me know if you got some smell or if it just smell like water at this point because it's been sitting, girl. It has been sitting if you ain't used it up. Now, the notes in this are amber honeysuckle marshmallow orange blossom and sugar cone it sounds like it smells sweetly amazing i'm gonna need them to bring this back out okay bring back the whole paris collection because it was a whole lot of pieces to this paris collection and they did a different variety of paris collections just bring them back out okay that would be perfect for the summertime you know what i mean everybody wants to go to perry and all that stuff in the summertime so go ahead and pull it back out so they have this one that i would love for them to bring back 
So the next one is going to put you in the fall mode because I feel like it did come out in the fall. It is pumpkin picking. And when y'all see the bottles, y'all can just tell that this is vintage. <laughs> okay. They don't even really be making bottles that look like this no more. So this is pumpkin picking and this came out in 2018. Now the notes I found on this were cinnamon spice cider, fresh pineapple or fresh pumpkin pie not pineapple fresh pumpkin pie and it says hay rides to the pumpkin patch girl that ain't no note sis hay rides to the pumpkin patch i don't know what type of note that is it smell like hay girl mm -mm, mm -mm. i will take the cinnamon spice cider and the fresh pumpkin pie though that sounds like it would smell amazing i love me some spice pumpkin that is like my favorite part of fall is being able to pull out all my pumpkin spice stuff and just smell like ugh just smell amazing okay so they could definitely bring this back out this coming fall okay go ahead and do that thank you so the next one that i would be interested in is the pear cream boule now this actually came out with my mongolian berry one i want to say um and a couple of other ones the macaroon the pink macaroon something so what it smell like it says it smells like a fruity custard topped with a crunchy sugar shell i'm curious Okay, like I said in the last couple videos, when it comes to like pear smells, I don't got enough. Okay, I don't got enough of them. So I wouldn't mind smelling this one. All right, so the notes in this are baked pear, caramelized sugar, and whipped cream. And it sounds like it smells amazing, sis. If you have it, braid it for me because I feel like this is a need. Okay, if I can get it for the cheap cheap, definitely will get my hands on it. So this is pear cream boule. The next one is such an old collection that I have never seen this before. I had never seen a print of it, but it is called the Lush Pink Dragon Fruit. Look how fun this is. It's giving tiki vibe party. It's giving a summer retreat vibes. It's giving vacation mode. I really, really like the packaging on this. So the notes on this were pink dragon fruit, passion fruit nectar, pomegranate um, caprini, sparkling mandarin lush pineapple and jungle plum it says experience nature's abundance with this luscious pairing of seductive dragon fruit and wild jungle plum y'all this sounds like it smells amazing now i feel like nobody would really have this still because the packaging itself just looks so retro but if you do or if you ever came in contact with it how did it smell, sis? Because I feel like they're going to be busting heads for this one. So they could just bring it back so I can smell it, okay? Y'all can just go ahead, go back in the vault, and pull this back out for us and put it on the shelves. Put it on the shelves. So that one is Lush Pink Dragon Fruit. So the next one is Cocktail Dress. And I feel like I just missed the opportunity to purchase this. Like, I feel like it's probably come out a couple of times. Um, but it says its first debut was in 2016. It is considered a floral fruity fragrance. Now the notes in this are pomegranate or the top notes are pomegranate and mandarin orange. The middle notes are peony pear um, and lily of the valley. And then the base note is cedar, musk, and amberwood. This picture is just so stinking beautiful. It is giving me Happy New Year's vibes, okay? Cocktail dress is definitely looking like a New Year's surprise. I feel like they should have brought it back this year. It is so beautiful to look at in this packaging. Like, this is stunning. So, yeah, definitely put your hands in, in the vault, Bath & Body Works, and pull this back out for us, okay? Thank you. We appreciate you much. And then the very last one we're going to talk about is the Sweet on a Paris collection. And y'all, you see how old this looks. They even got a tower in the perfume mist. Like, they don't even be making shades and stuff like that no more with the mist. Um, this came out in 2012. Yes, I have went way back in the vault, okay? <laughs> way back. So this came out in 2012. It says... um. The notes in this are blackberry, lemon, buttery vanilla, peony, nectar, macaroon, and apricot. It says cotton candy, strawberry shortcake sweetness is what it is consistent of. I don't care. I just know I want one. <laughs> I just know I want one. This sounds like it smells sweetly phenomenal. And the Sweet on Paris title is like touching my heart and I want to smell it. Okay. I want to smell it. 
smell it. So those are all of the retired fragrances that I think should come back that we're going to talk about today. Of course, you guys know that I love to do these retired fragrance videos because I love finding out more information about Bath and Body Works and more about the old scents and stuff. So you know it's going to be another one coming up because they have so many doggone retired scents. Like they don't even have to make no more. Just go on back in the bag. Go back in the back. Y'all playing too much bad. The body works. But that is today's video. If you like content like this, if you like hearing about the old retired fragrances or reliving it, let me know in the comment section. If you are new here, definitely hit that subscribe button. Give me a big thumbs up. Ring that bell so you're notified every time I post a video. I thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch me. And you already know, girl. I will see you later. Bye, girl.